The federal government plans to stop the deportation of a Phoenix couple arrested during one of Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio's immigration sweeps. What makes this case so compelling is the young girl at the center of it. She made headlines back in 2009 after her parents, Carl and Sandra Figueroa, were arrested. Her YouTube plea to President Obama launched her into the spotlight. She was featured in a documentary, Two Americans, about Sheriff Arpaio's immigration suites. Catherine also testified in a congressional hearing about being separated from her parents during the detention. Well, the Arizona Republic is now reporting that even though the Figueroa's pleaded guilty to a Class 4 felony of criminal impersonation related to their jobs, on Friday, ICE officials announced they were ending deportation proceedings for the couple, which means Catherine's parents will stay in the country indefinitely. This is the first time the government has made such a request for a pending deportation case, and it may not be the last. A government spokesperson said regarding the decision, it's about priorities. Quote, ICE is focused on sensible, effective immigration enforcement that prioritizes the removal of criminal aliens and egregious immigration law violators. I'm working, only working here, okay? Only working. We have evidence that they use fake identification. We arrest, and they go to the 4th Avenue jail. Why arrest? Yeah. Only working. My family here, seven kids. And the building story, a longtime Valley business here near 32nd Street in Shea, the focus of an immigration bust. Sheriff's officials say they're actually looking for 70 people. In all, they arrested 10. Do you remember what you were charged with? Forgery and ID theft. And ID theft. Did they explain why they dropped the charges? No. How old are you? I'm 33 years old. 33. How long have you been in this country? I've been in this country for 12 years. 12 years. So when you came, so was U.S. Sam's the first job you had? Or? Yes. <laughs> and and only job here. So. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Do you know what kind of information your employer had about you as far as like uh, documents, things like that? No. I, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They have a list of the people that they were trying to, to arrest. And was my name was in the in the list, so I said that's me, and I said that's that's my name. Mm -hmm. But I didn't say anything else, so that's just my name. And uh, the star, the, and I said I'm not gonna say anything else. When you don't implicate yourself, then they have to prove it. It's harder for them to do that. So, like if they ask him, you know, is this your signature? And he says I'm not gonna talk to you until I have my attorney present. Then it's gonna be very hard for them to prove it. When did you first know that there was a sheriff's raid going on? When you knew that there was a raid on the sheriff? When they were already blocking the doors. Then they started to take us one by one and to investigate us. What did you ask? Pues, uh, my name and my my date of birth. The birth date and name. Mm. Did they ask you any other questions? Did they ask you other questions? Si estaba legalmente. They asked me if I was legal in the United States. What did you tell them? Nothing. So you kept your mouth shut, yeah. right? Okay. How long did you work at U.S. Sands? ¿Cuánto tiempo trabajaste ahí? Mm, unos ocho años aproximadamente. About eight years. Eight years, okay. Uh, el oficial me entrevistó la segunda vez cuando me avisó que los carros habían sido quitados. Oh, the uh, an ICE or MCSO? MCSO. Oh. Y me dijo que ya me al principio pues me leyó mis derechos, pero en esta vez me dijo que no que no tenía guardar derecho a guardar silencio, que era una plática entre él y yo, pero tenía que grabar. What? So what? Como amigo, ¿no? Como amigo. Amigo, okay. What 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 did he ask you or talk? ¿Qué te preguntó? He asked me the same question, my name, my date, if I knew something more. And he started to ask me more questions, more deep, and I told him that I didn't want to answer. So were you fearful that you'd be removed from the country? 
¿Tienes miedo de que te, de que te saquen de aquí? No. No. No tengo miedo. He, he, he wasn't afraid uh, because he knew what he, he, his rights. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, he, he knows that, you know, we're going to, like, fight for him. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is that he says he's not afraid. Mm -hmm.